Okay, so it's signing costs. Basically, the process looks like this. I assign a total cost resource to the activity. I, I saw also assign a cost account, and then I set the budgeted cost, okay? Let me show you how I did it uh, really quickly. We'll go to do a very simple uh, item in P6. Okay, so traffic control setup it, at S1 and S2 is basically this cost. So B1, B, cost B, it's 40,000. 40, so in P6, traffic, traffic cost setup at S1. So I'm going to go down to my S1. Oh, sorry, S2. So here's my traffic control setup at S2. And I simply add my total cost resource there. Okay. I'm going to put in my cost account. Uh, cost account showed up on the other screen. That's my cost account that matches my bid item. Okay. And notice here, cost uh, calculate cost from units is uncoupled and then put my cost in there. Okay, so now I have a cost here. As you can see, almost every activity has a cost associated with it. Activities that are not mine to work, such as these ones like submittals uh, or this one, GC Telco, which is uh, the telco service relocating wires for us, there's no cost associated with it. So we didn't put, uh, we didn't put a cost on those. But most things have a cost. And once in a while like this, we actually combine it with another cost um, to our advantage. So, but most activities have a cost with them, associated with them. Okay, let's keep going. Now, to get every activity to have a cost, I have to break these costs down further. So look at this situation. This is a big piece of work. You're excavating the tunnel shafts, okay? Excavation, construction of tunnel shafts. At S1, that's a million bucks of, uh, worth of work. So how do I take my million dollars and assign it to my work? Well, I broke it down into chunks and assigned it to each activity. Let's talk about that, okay? So there's my million dollars totaling up for all of these, looks like a dozen activities or so. Okay. Every work activity the contractor performs should earn value towards finishing the project, okay? That means that every work activity should have a cost associated with it, i.e. a payment to the contractor for its completion. Okay, you're gonna ask me, why don't we use WBS summaries or level of efforts? This is a great shortcut. That would be an ideal shortcut. Um, number one, it was not allowed by the claims of consultant. They said, absolutely not. You cannot use level of effort. Why? A couple of reasons. Level of effort, number one, you're adding a whole bunch of extra activities to your schedule that are not working activities. You're adding relationships. Some of those relationships are not actually, um, they are, um, I'm forgetting the term, but they're not relationships that matter to the critical path or to the work being completed. Extra um optional relationships so that complicates things so if i added level of efforts all over the place you're just you're making a really complicated situation but yeah it does give you a, a nice place you can put a million dollars right you cost loaded the thing the other problem with level of efforts is the percentage complete of love of a level effort of actually depends on the activities below it and so it's not always a proper percentage complete calculation i believe level of effort percentage complete gets calculated automatically based on the activities below it. And that's not always the proper weighting. So not allowed. Same thing with WBS summary. We, um, they didn't want all extra activities, so not an option. So basically we had to break down our million dollars into some sort of reasonable breakdown for all of the activities underneath. How do we do that? One, you can go back. There was an original estimate done for this work. How did the estimate come up with a million dollars for this work? They must have figured out some way to break the work down to tally it up to a million dollars. So we can go back and go back to the estimation team and ask them how they broke it down. Get information from them. Or if you don't have that available to you or you don't like it or it's not in the right format, then you basically just have to come up with your own breakdown using a, uh, some sort of percentage complete. And that's essentially what we did. We try to break this down into reasonable percents. Um, also sometimes varying based on duration, but more varying on the effort and the kind of things that were going on. 